Hello everybody, this is Crafting Redstone and welcome back to a bit of a different video from what I usually make. So um, over the last couple of weeks I've been looking at the Twitter posts from the developers of Minecraft and um, one block what they are planning on adding has really caught my eye and I thought this block has so much potential, it looks epic. So I saw today when I logged onto my computer the snapshot has been released along with the new launcher which looks, in my opinion... Alright, it, it kind of looks nice and colourful and fits with the website, so that looks cool in my opinion. But yeah, let's focus on one block. So, I've made kind of a concept thing to demonstrate how epic and useful this new block can be. Now, this design is taking me an hour. I, yeah, I've kind of just wanted to show people. So, if you can make it better, please, please try and do. Um, I'd love to see any videos what people make of a, like an updated, improved design of this. I, I'm, I'm really excited. It's, this is just kind of showing the potential of a new block you can see behind me. Yeah, sorry for the messy redstone, redstone people. Uh, that kind of includes myself. And, yeah, I'm kind of ashamed of the redstone uncompactness. But hey-ho, let's have a look at these blocks. So if we turn around here, you can see we've got these big, kind of long sections of blocks. And this is what I've classed as an ink cartridge. Now, as you've probably seen from the title of this video and from the thumbnail, um, that... I made a printer. It's kind of semi based on the design I saw a while ago by AC Tennis AC. It's just a little bit different because these blocks are awesome. And they've just been added and it's a new snapshot. So um, let's grab one of them. And I believe there's three main ways in which this block is awesome. So um, if we click on it, yep, it travels all the way down to the bottom. And that proves one thing it is affected by gravity. So that is part A. Um, and that is a really cool thing. It makes it very, very useful because you don't have to transport blocks with pistons so much. You can kind of just let them fall down in areas. And it just is really convenient for a lot of like different designs. The second thing is, look, they're colourful. You can dye them different colours, which is really, really cool, I think. Um, it's going to open up a lot of possibilities for building and all sorts of things. And the third one, if we kind of go into my inventory and um, grab some water. And um, let's go like that. Uh, if we get some blocks, so look at it, kind of looks like sand, and we use it now, it turns into an entirely different block. Um, so if we grab this block, this one is no longer affected by gravity, which is also very cool, allowing a lot of possibilities for its use. Uh, so this is kind of just one possibility and one concept, what I think demonstrates how cool this individual block is. So I'm kind of giving a bit of showcase of the printer and just this one way in which it's awesome. I kind of just describe like how it works kind of yeah there are command blocks down here but basically it makes it a lot easier for survival contraptions having this block and it makes it can make things a lot more compact which I think is awesome so if we just grab some colors maybe let's kind of just go with a creeper um, since that's kind of like the standard for printing things in Minecraft so if, I, I believe I actually have already got these blocks so I can see this is the dust version however we need the concrete version so kind of concrete powder even not dust and it's concrete so we want the concrete version for printing this so we want these ones so I'm gonna do a very badly drawn creeper I'm not an artist yet yeah, I'm not an artist or apparently today not particularly good at redstone considering how uncompact this is but if we kind of just scatter some random Bits around, I'll kind of complete this and meet you back. And the big reveal. Yes, I, I I know I'm not an artist. Don't don't worry. You can kind of, if you squint, kind of tell it's a creeper almost. Yeah, I'm not a good artist. Yeah. Um, so moving on from my art skills, if we throw this lever, um, something magical is going to happen, and we'll just demonstrate the main awesome feature, in my opinion, of this. Uh, we're running out of ink, guys. Oh, we need to top up the ink supplies. Go buy some ink from somewhere. Oh, I'm, I'm messing up. I'm messing up. Oh, dear. Oh, where's it? Oh, oh, dear. Oh, okay. Right, let's get rid of that. Um, and let's refill the ink cartridges. And I'll kind of demonstrate then that the print is actually working, in theory. Um, so if we just fill these up, I'll skip ahead. Here we go. It is printing. So hopefully you can see the blocks kind of move along. Um, they fall down from the pillars of ink. And you can see the fall into place. Um, I'm pointing at the screen, but of course you can't see that. Um, so, yeah, and it falls into this kind of a printer tray sort of thing, and it starts printing using just some very simple redstone. Um, so, yeah, it's moving along, and I'll kind of put in a time lapse so you can see it printing. The problems with recording in snapshot versions, yep, the game crashed. 
And um, yeah, I lost kind of a bit of recording there, but you can see it did print. And I think this design has kind of achieved what I wanted it to do. And that is just basically to demonstrate how awesome this new, oh, that's not it, <laughs> this new addition to Minecraft is. So if you've enjoyed it, oh, I'm actually, before I do the outro, I better just explain how it works very quickly. This clock just regulates the hop line to uh, allow only one item in through at a time. Um, so basically, blocks don't get placed down too fast, so they don't overlap and things. Uh, we've got a simple item sorter that has a redstone output, which just pushes these like um, entities, um, which for I call them entities because they're doing that. And I'm going to mess up my thing. Um, it just kind of pushes them along. Uh, they get pushed down there. The command blocks just move them along, which could be simply replaced by um, some sort of piston conveyor belt. I didn't manage to find one which worked in 1.12, but I'm sure you guys probably uh, might find one in the future if you're watching. So yeah, push it along and then use some sort of contraption to get it basically over here. And then there's pistons in here, we'll just push it along and then move it down. So very, very simple all in all how it works. And it effectively demonstrated, I feel, um, how epic this block is and how much potential you've got for it. It does almost remind me of a mod, actually, that caused this. It's an, a mod called El Nino, uh, or something like that. Maybe that's a weather pattern, actually. I don't know. Um, well, it's a mod El Nino, Nilo, something like that. And it kind of looks like this. It does remind me of it, especially the pink there. But um, hey-ho, away from the point. Um, this printer kind of does, does definitely um, demonstrate how cool these are. And I think there's a lot more uses than just this printer. It's just kind of a... A more obvious one I could think of. So I hope you guys have really enjoyed it. If you have, please consider leaving a like. I am a very small channel at the moment, and it would be greatly appreciated to have some likes. Um, also, if you're interested in this and want like more content like this, um, and if you have a look at some of my other videos, you'll see that I've made a good variety of different content. So if you, if you like any of those, please consider subscribing. Um, and also, if, um, I can't forget this. If you make a better design than this, please let me know because I'd love to see it. Um, so without further ado, I guess I'm going to end off the video. Thank you very much for watching everybody. Um, have a good day. Goodbye from Crafting Redstone.